Are you looking for facts about England? Keep watching. Some more general facts about England such as total population, biggest cities, highest mountain, biggest lake, etc. Probably you know this fact already, but when I travel to different destinations, I have noticed many people in other countries often refer to England when they talk about the United Kingdom, but England is only one of the four nations in the United Kingdom. England is cross of St. George on a white background. The English language is an amalgamation of German, Dutch, French, Danish, Latin Greek, and Celtic languages. This is a result of all these cultures playing a significant part in English history, primarily due to invasions from mainland Europe. The country we know as England didn't really emerge until the 10th century AD. Long before that, the land was occupied by various Celt tribes and was known as Britannia during the Roman occupation. After the Romans left, the Anglo-Saxons, originating from modern-day Germany and Denmark, established kingdoms within England and struggled against numerous Viking invasions. Eventually, Wessex was the last free Saxon kingdom, and not only did it successfully drive the Scandinavians back, but it also absorbed the former Saxon kingdoms into its own borders as a result and led to a unified England. One of several bizarre ancient rules in English law states that the reigning monarch cannot set foot in England's House of Commons. The law first passed in 1642 when King Charles I interrupted English Parliament to forcibly arrest five MPs. Since then, only a representative of the monarch, whom is known to carry a black rod, can enter the House of Commons. The law still stands today. Queen Elizabeth II has never entered the House of Commons, though nobody is quite sure what the punishment would be if she broke that rule. Tea is famously the most popular drink among the English. It's estimated that 165 million cups of tea are drunk in England every day, more than any other nation on the planet. By contrast, tea consumption in the U.S. is 20 times lower. While the good OL cup of tea is an essential part of the cultural fabric of the English, actual sales of tea have declined by almost two-thirds between 1974 and 2014. Tea is still more popular than coffee, though the decline of tea is sometimes attributed to the emergence of a coffee culture in the UK. Did you know, not only is London more than 2,000 years old, but it has also had many names in the past? It was called Londonium when it was founded by the Romans in 43 AD, then Ludenwick in Saxon times, and Ludenburg during the Kingdom of Alfred the Great. Yep, this may come as a surprise to some. Due to the invasion of England in 1066 by William Conqueror, a nobleman from Normandy in France, the official main language of England was in fact French for almost 300 years from 1066 to 1362. For centuries, English kings such as Richard the Lionheart and Edward Longshanks spoke little English and spent most of their time in France. Henry IV, who took the throne more than 200 years after William the Conqueror, was the first king of England who could actually speak English fluently. Most people will know that the lion is the national animal of England, popularized by the iconic three lions emblem that features on the country's insignia, on the flags and shields of English armies from centuries ago, and on the England national football team jersey. Debtors' prisons were very common in England during the 18th and 19th centuries. They were exclusively for people who fell into debt and couldn't repay the money owed. And it was a lucrative business too. Charles Dickens' father was one of the many people who spent time in a debtor's prison, and Dickens would later write about these institutions, immortalizing them in his literature. The ancient city of Winchester was the first capital of England in the 9th century. Known as Wintonseaster by the Saxons, the city was the capital of the Kingdom of Wessex, before King Ethelstan established a unified England. Thanks to being an island nation, England's isolation from mainland Europe has made the country impossible to invade, having never been successfully invaded since the Norman conquest of 1066. However, since the 1990s, England has been connected to France and mainland Europe via an underwater tunnel, allowing for travel by cars and train. Roughly one billion people, one-seventh of the world, speaks English. The language is perhaps England's greatest export and is the most universal language in the world due to the influence of the British Empire as well as American global influence. 
We owe it to an Englishman for the internet that we love and depend on every day. In the early 1990s, scientist Sir Tim Berners-Lee changed the world forever when he invented the World Wide Web System, also known as the WWW that appears in your search bar. Another strange fact, King Charles III has legal ownership over all the dolphins in the UK and in British waters, as well as sturgeons, porpoises, and whales. Known as Fishes Royal, any that are caught within three kilometers of the British coast are considered royal property. This statue dates back to 1324 and is still law today. Traditionally, English people enjoy a roast dinner on Sundays. This is one of the most exciting facts about England for foodies. It consists of roasted meat such as chicken, lamb, or beef, served with roast potatoes, vegetables, Yorkshire puddings, stuffing, and gravy. Vegetarian versions are not roast or vegetable wellington. Head to any good pub in the country on a Sunday afternoon and you'll find a hearty roast being served. The tradition stems from the late 18th century when families left meat cooking in the oven while attending Sunday church service, ready to enjoy upon their return. One of the proudest England culture facts is the creation of the National Health System, NHS, in 1948. It's funded by taxation and free to citizens at the point of delivery. Principally, it's designed to be available based on medical need rather than an individual's ability to pay for health care. Medicine is heavily subsidized and available on prescription from a doctor or pharmacist at a flat rate fee. Adventure lovers will be keen to know this fun fact about England's highest mountain. Scaffold Pike is located in the Lake District. It peaks at 978 meters above sea level. Scaffold Pike is maintained by the National Trust and attracts thousands of tourists a year. The steep climb can be dangerous in bad weather, so it's essential to properly equip yourself before visiting. The London Underground is one of the things that UK is known for. It began as the Metropolitan Railway in 1863. The first line ran between Farringdon and Paddington stations, operated by steam trains. It's one of the busiest metro systems in the world, with 296 million passenger journeys made in 2020. Surprisingly, one of England's national dishes is chicken tikka masala curry. While chicken tikka was already popular in India, English people wanted a saucier dish to replicate their love of meat and gravy. England is a very deep-rooted country culturally and historically for a very big and strong result. We recommend you to go as a tourist or as a tourist. We have come to the end of our video for today. If you like the video, you can subscribe and like it.